Hi there, it's Todd from Learn to Grow Wealth Online, and today we are going to be discussing the alphabet soup technique. Um, and this is a great technique to be able to find keywords, keyword phrases, um, to brainstorm for content ideas, primarily for uh, website content writers and bloggers. So um, let's begin. So as in my article here, you can see I use the example of lose belly fat fast. And instantly as I put that in there, uh, we have six or five other terms that come up. Lose belly fat fast, lose belly fat men, lose belly fat diet. This is, this is let's say, this is our, our topic that we're going to be writing about. From here, I'd want to see what other searches are occurring. So I use the alphabet soup technique, and all it is is simply put a space and then run through the alphabet. If I put an A, instantly get after pregnancy, after love handles, at the gym, B, build muscles, C, cardio challenge, cardio and war weights, I lose belly fat cycling. So you can see there's a ton of... Um, keyword phrases here that we can use to base um, to base our article on and and target that article for people who are looking for these type of subjects. The other thing that you can do is you can take it a step further. You can keep the C and you can put an A and then you'll you'll change that B. Well that doesn't have too much of it. You can just go through the alphabet and find various topics. The other thing that I mentioned in the article is that you can come here, put a space before this and then add in your major questions, who, what, why, when, where, and how. So if I put in how, how to lose body fat, how to lose body fat fast, how to lose body fat in a week. And, and you can continue with this process to figure out um, what you want to write about. And it will just give you a, a lot of ideas to come up with various content ideas that is designed based on your niche, whether you're a travel blogger or um, a health counselor and you have a blog site or a website or a blog, um, you can use this technique to come up with just a ton of content ideas. The next step is that we're going to be talking about is to find the competition of those keyword phrases. Okay, thanks.